Veterans reentering civilian life face many challenges, including finding a job. Hi, I'm Monto Williams, and welcome to this edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. Today, we have four inspirational stories of former servicemen and women who have reinvented themselves and are thriving in companies that value their unique skills. Scientific Research Corporation has been leading the way in developing advanced electronics and information systems for the U.S. military for over 30 years. A key to their success, the veterans that they employ who understand the mission and how to best support our men and women still serving. The major program that I support is in the Navy's P-8 force. They do a lot of anti-submarine warfare. They do a lot of sea surveillance. My role is primarily to help secure the systems we're building um, against cyber threats and, you know, insider threats. We build primarily systems. We build communication systems, um, intelligence systems. So who are Ron, Alicia, and Dan discussing? They're all working for SRC, the Scientific Research Corporation. Founded in 1988, SRC develops advanced electronics and information systems for the United States military. Our adversaries are always trying to, you know, collect data on us and, you know, perhaps even interfere with things we're doing um, while protecting themselves. So we're really trying to ensure that we can protect ourselves from them. But a deep sense of commitment to the safety of our military and patriotic pride in their own service is hard to miss. So Alicia is one of our cybersecurity architects at, at the company, so she helps create an infrastructure for our systems that can protect the system from outside uh, potential intruders. She's uh, d definitely one of the top cybersecurity person that, that we have here. We have Navy fleet all over the world that are out there to try and protect us and do surveillance, so we want to ensure that we can get that done. Over 40% of the SRC workforce has served in the military, which gives them a unique perspective on how best to serve and protect our warriors. I commanded the uh, the USS Abraham Lincoln. You know, I grew up around aircraft carriers. I mean, I, I started my Navy career flying off of them, and then I finished off my Navy career actually driving them. And uh, as I was uh, transitioning out of the service, I wanted what I did to matter. Uh, to those young men and women who I just recently served with. And when I met SRC, I mean, it just totally aligned with what their desires were too and their aspirations. So I said, man, you know, this is a place I can work. What I really like about what I do is um, that after leaving the military, I'm still able to support the military. Um, I primarily work um, supporting our Navy fleets and ensuring they can get their mission done. So ensuring their systems are up and secure from our adversaries is very important. Our job is to make sure those systems work when the sailors need to use them. Uh, we provide training on how to best employ those systems and uh, to make the, the most effective for, uh, for the Navy's mission. And supporting those who support our military is at the core of SRC's mission. SRC is about the warfighter. And you know, I think a lot of defense contractors out there will make that claim. This isn't a company that's just about saying we support, you know, service members of our, you know, Department of Defense. They no kidding meant it. SRC definitely likes prior military. The skill sets are so easy, I think, to, to transition. This is a company uh, w that is really concerned about those service members in uniform first and foremost. And that really resonated with me early on. Uh, and frankly, it was the reason I, I decided to join the company. 